The Nelson Mandela Foundation hosted a lecture commemorating the 30th anniversary of the release of Nelson Mandela. Madiba walked out of the prison gates at the age of 72 to massive excitement. A 72-year-old Nelson Mandela walked out of the then Victor Fester prison an hour's drive away from where we are today. He had entered prison as a young fighter and emerged as an elder statesman, more open to negotiation, but still, I'm sure you'll agree with me, willing to go toe to toe when needed. Clutching his hand on that day was Mamouini Mandela, who with countless others valiantly kept the spotlight on him during those decades in prison. Their hands raised proudly in the air signified victory and hope. Almost 26 years of freedom, the country remains the most unequal society in the world. Nobel Prize laureate Leima Goe says that corruption and other social ills are contributing factors to the already high number of challenges facing society. The opening of those prison doors was much more than a man walking out. It was about the rebirth of a nation, the rebirth of a continent. It was about laying a path for generations unborn. It is about a continent taking control of her resources, her politics, and her history. Madiba's walk out of prison was to ensure Africa's release from the prison of our minds. We should no longer be held hostage to greed, poverty, and corruption. President Cyril Ramaphosa delivered a speech in remembrance of Nelson Mandela from the very balcony of Cape Town City Hall, where Mandela delivered his very first speech after his release. Ramaphosa says that today South Africa is faced with many challenges that makes its citizens to lose trust in its government. Today now we are indeed at a decisive moment as well as a nation. We know, we know that our country is facing many challenges. We too can no longer wait. The state of the economy, the high levels of unemployment, the social ills wreaking havoc in our communities, the shameful killing of women and girls, the stench of corruption and abuse of public funds have led to a trust deficit with our citizens. And this threatens to reverse our democratic gains. The Mandela Foundation says that the lecture serves as a reminder to every South African to break free from the prison of their mindsets. Notando Makutulela, SAPC News, Johannesburg.